Nearly 2,500 years ago, during the Persian Achaemenid Empire's reign, which stretched between 550 and 330 BCE, the ancient Persians pioneered a technique of storing ice for refrigeration year-round throughout the deserts of modern-day Iran, allowing people over 2,000 years ago to refrigerate and preserve food, which was especially important during the hot summer climate. This ingenious building design was called a yakchal, Yakchal is Persian for ice pit, yak meaning ice and chal meaning pit, and was the first example we found of an ancient type of ice house which could be used to store and even produce ice on site in certain places. These yakchals had a number of different design features, so I'll explain what these features are and how each of them worked for these structures to effectively function for ancient ice storage in a desert climate. The main structure of a yakchal typically featured a 15 to 20 meter tall conical dome-shaped chamber above ground. This covered a large subterranean storage space reaching underground, taking advantage of the consistent temperature below ground level throughout the year. The dome featured openings at the top and usually at least two entrances at the base. The walls at the base were at least two meters thick, and the dome was built using a special mortar called saruj. This mortar had a unique makeup which made it an excellent insulator, as well as being almost impenetrable by water. To achieve this, it was composed of sand, clay, egg whites, lime, goat hair and ash in quite specific proportions. The tall conical shape of the building optimizes the solar chimney effect, creating a convection current that allows cold air to pour in from the entries at the structure's base and descend to the lowest part of the yakchal and guides any remaining heat upward and outside through openings at the very top of the building. Through this passive process, the air inside the yakchal remains cooler than the outside by continuously replacing warm air. This design provided great insulation throughout the year, keeping the bottom of the chamber where the ice was stored cool and consistent day and night. They would often have access to a canart, which is basically an aqueduct, which would channel cool underground water from an aquifer or well to the structure. This would often feed into a shallow rectangular channel known as an ice pool that could be up to 100 meters long and 10 meters wide, with a depth of only around 40 to 50 centimeters, and could either provide the yakchal with water needed for evaporative cooling, or for the production of ice on site where in locations that the water could freeze overnight, the ice could then be broken up and carried into the storage room. A long wall called a shade wall was usually built next to the yakchal to help keep the water channel or ice pool cooler during the day. So in places that produced ice in these channels, the water could freeze more quickly as it wouldn't need to radiate as much heat during the night. And the shade would also help give the workers more time to harvest the ice throughout the morning. They were usually built in an east-west direction, often as high as 10 to 15 meters to help minimize convection losses, as well as to provide prolonged shade. The temperature difference between shaded and non-shaded areas where the yakchals were constructed was often nearly around 15 to 20 degrees Celsius cooler, making shade walls a necessity. Yakchals were also sometimes equipped with barred gears which are tall wind catchers built of mud or mud brick in either square or round shapes with vents at the top, which can function as extra chimneys, releasing warm air out the top and pulling cool air in from a base opening or a connected channel of cooled underground water. Sometimes all these features were built as part of a yakchal, and the engineering of these different features takes advantage of the physics of evaporative cooling and radiative cooling which in an arid desert climate, the low relative humidity increases the efficiency of evaporative cooling due to the vapor pressure differential, and the low absolute humidity increases the efficiency of radiative cooling. So this reliably keeps the structure consistently cool to well below ambient temperatures all year round. They would also sometimes be used to store food as well as the ice and in regions close to ice-capped mountains, they would sometimes transport mountain ice directly to a yakchal. They were so effective that they have been used all the way up until the invention of modern refrigeration technology around a century ago. And even in present-day Iran, Afghanistan and Tajikistan, people still use the term yakchal to refer to modern refrigerators. These structures are recorded to be built as far back as 400 BCE, but likely go back a little further at least. 
and many that were built hundreds of years ago still remain standing, although many have deteriorated over the years due to widespread modern refrigeration technology, some interest in them has been revived as a source of inspiration in low energy housing design and sustainable architecture, and some have been extremely well preserved and could still function to store ice if the need arose. Yakchals were a marvel of ancient engineering and creativity thousands of years before the invention of modern refrigeration technology. To me, these are up there with some of the greatest inventions of our ancient past. People in antiquity didn't have detailed technical writings of exactly how the physics worked, but they clearly intuitively picked up on these effects and applied them in an extremely useful and innovative way that benefited everyone who used them. So what do you think? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. If you'd like to help support the channel, please consider joining my Patreon or become a channel member on YouTube. Have an amazing day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care of yourselves out there.